So Anita, tell us how you ended up in Connor. So, yeah, it's, it's a long story. So at the beginning I started the, the geology degree in uh, Palermo, here in Sicily. And I wanted to work on volcanoes. And then I moved to Rome uh, to do bachelor and master and to specialize in volcanoes. Okay. And uh, also paleomagnetism. So what's paleomagnetism then? Yeah, it's a, it's a branch of geophysics. Right. Basically, study the ancient magnetic field recorded on rocks. Cool. And that, uh, one of the applications is exactly to understand volcanoes, how they evolved, the history, exactly. So, I did a PhD also in Rome mm -hmm. with a lot of field work, both in Pantelleria, which is a little island south to Sicily, yeah. and then to uh, Azores Islands, nice. the archipelago, archipelago that I like in uh, Portugal, in the middle of the yeah. Atlantic Ocean. So, Great places uh, to work. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. It was, uh, I've been there for three, for three years mm. for the, during the PhD. And then when I finished the PhD, I moved to uh, Brazil for first two years postdoc. And uh, I was studying also volcanoes, but from the Precambrian. Right, okay. And uh, nobody would believe me. Yeah. I you study volcanoes in Brazil. No, <laughs> exactly. I don't, it's not the country I think of as having volcanoes, yeah, but I guess well, really, yeah, really old ones. A long time ago. Yeah. So uh, in Brazil, I studied the paleo intensity mm -hmm. of the magnetic field recorded in this uh, Precambrian uh, dike. It's amazing that, isn't it? That geology can do that. The, yes. the ancient magnetism recorded in rocks yeah. that are what, a billion years old? How yeah, old it was like uh, almost uh, two. Two billion? Yeah, two billion. Very 1.4 nice. to, yeah. And this technique is very difficult to apply because. Uh, there is no agreement in the scientific community to about which one is the best. Yeah. So that's still challenging. After these two years, I um, I won a Marie Curie project to come to Plymouth. Yeah. And I changed the game. And why Plymouth then? I mean, it's we, we do paleomagnetism. It's one of the few places in the UK that's got oh, a yeah, paleomagnetic yeah. lab, isn't it? Yeah. You've got uh, yeah. You got Professor Morris. <laughs> It is an expert in ophiolites. Yeah. He's been working in ophiolites for a long time. So we wrote. Can you say what an ophiolite is? What's an oh, ophiolite? So an ophiolite is a relic of uh, ancient oceanic crust, mm. abducted, forming now a mountain or outcropping anywhere. So a piece of the ocean crust that's been shoved now up on yeah. onto the continent. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so what, that's what, what still I'm doing, the project is ongoing. Just so what's the, pro what's the project? Where is it? So I, uh, I studied uh, a an, uh, an Canadian ophiolite, yeah. uh, which is uh, Cambrian, it's very old too. And then we had to move to Oman, where the ophiolite is better exposed. Right, is that because Canada was too cold for you? No, it was <laughs> it was too altered. Right, Not and Oman is a fantastic. Place yeah, to Oman go. is the best place to go, and we are doing many stuff. But we'll let you know. So you enjoying it in Plymouth? Yes, yes, very much. Apart from the weather. Apart from the weather, too wet, I guess. Is it yeah, compared to you? Too wet. Too so cold. Is, is it nice being back on Sicily then? Yes, it's very nice. I hope actually I hope I can work here again. With collaboration, I never, during all this year, I never gave up with volcanoes. I, mm. I kept um, collaborating with, for instance, people from Brazil too. Yeah. They were studying uh, the Trindade volcano, okay. which is really in the middle of nothing, <laughs> in the South Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so that would be, be perfect if you ended up yeah. working on yeah. volcanoes in Sicily, where it all started. Yeah, where else? Who knows? But yeah. I'm open to any the other volcanoes of the world. <laughs>